Section 2. Each Bible book summarized in one sentence with its key verse. Genesis. Summary. Men sins 3 colon 6 7 and gives dominion of the earth to Satan 314 and God promises to get it back through the seed of the woman 315 coming through Israel 12 colon 1 3. Key passage 12 colon 1 3 1 Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee 2 and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Exodus Summary God saves Israel from Egypt, 14,26-30, and they will be priests of God to reconcile the whole earth back to God, 19,5-6. Key passage, 19,5-6-5, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Leviticus Summary God calls Israel to be holy, 1144, by following his commands, 26 colon 3-13. Key passage, 1144 For I am the Lord your God, ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy, neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Numbers Summary Israel wanders in the wilderness for forty years, 1433, and does not enter the promised land, due to their unbelief, 1411. Key passage, 14 colon 29-33, 29, Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you, according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me, thirty, doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua the son of Nun. Thirty-one, but your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. Thirty-two, but as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness. Thirty-three, and your children shall wander in the wilderness forty years, and bear your whoredoms, until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. Deuteronomy Summary God gives the law to the next generation of Israelites, 1-3, to for them to obey and enter the promised land, 1-8. to Key passage, 7-6-11, 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. 8. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. 9. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him, and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. 10 and repayeth them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him, he will repay him to his face. 11. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments, which I command thee this day to do them. Joshua Summary Israel enters the promised land and obeys God. Key passage 2400 hours 31 And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua, and which had known all the works of the Lord, that he had done for Israel. Judges Summary Israel falls into sin to the point where everyone does what is right in his own eyes, not in God's eyes. Key passage, 2125 In those days there was no king in Israel, every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Ruth Summary, an Israelite, Boaz, saves a Moabites, Ruth, by marriage, to picture Jesus Christ's future redemption of all the nations back to God, for colon 9-12 and Genesis 12 verses 1-3. to Key passage, 116 And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee, for whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge, thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. 1 Samuel 
Summary, Israel rejects God as their king. Key passage, 8 colon 5 And said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways, now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. 2 Samuel Summary, God makes an everlasting covenant with David as king, and his son, Jesus Christ, the seed of the woman. Key passage, 7 colon 12-16, 12 And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. 13 He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. 14 I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men. 15 But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. 16 And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee, thy throne shall be established forever. 1 Kings Summary Israel is divided into two kingdoms, Israel and Judah, and God's people are now just Judah, 11 colon 31 37. Key passage, 11 colon 11 13, 11, Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, Forasmuch as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and will give it to thy servant. 12. Notwithstanding in thy days I will not do it for David thy father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hand of thy son. 13. Howbeit I will not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David my servant's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake which I have chosen. 2 Kings Summary, both Israel, 17,20-23, and Judah, 24, go into 70 years of captivity for failing to believe and obey God's law covenant with them, and the seed of the woman survives another attack by Satan. Key Passage, 11,2-3-2, But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahaziah, took Josh the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons which were slain, and they hid him, even him and his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athaliah, so that he was not slain. 3. And he was with her hid in the house of the Lord six years. And Athaliah did reign over the land. 1 Chronicles Summary David's servants in Israel are listed, 1110-1240 and chapters 23-27, as a type of Jesus Christ's servants in God's future, eternal kingdom on earth. Key Passage 17,9 Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more, neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more, as at the beginning. 2 Chronicles Summary this book gives God's dealings with Judah as they fall into sin, culminating in 70 years of Babylonian captivity, 36-20-21. Key passage, 36-14-21-14, -14, -14, Moreover all the chief of the priests, and the people, transgressed very much after all the abominations of the heathen, and polluted the house of the Lord which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. 15. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes, and sending, because he had compassion on his people, and on his dwelling place, 16. But they mocked the messengers of God, and despised his words, and misused his prophets, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. 17. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees, who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion upon young men or maiden, old men, or him that stooped for age, he gave them all into his hand. 18. And all the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king, and of his princes, all these he brought to Babylon. 19. And they burnt the house of God, and brake down the wall of Jerusalem, and burnt all the palaces thereof with fire, and destroyed all the goodly vessels thereof. 20. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon, where they were servants to him, and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia. 21. To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths, for as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath to fulfill threescore and ten years. Ezra Summary, Judah returns from captivity and rebuilds the temple in Jerusalem. Key Passage, 1 colon 2-3, 2, thus saith Cyrus king of Persia, 
The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him an house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. 3. Who is there among you of all his people? His God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel, he is the God, which is in Jerusalem. Nehemiah Summary, Judah returns from captivity and rebuilds the wall of Jerusalem. Key Passage 217 Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem leath waste, and the gates the rubber burned with fire, come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more reproach. Esther Summary God saves Israel from extinction through Esther and Mordecai, as a type of God saving Israel eternally through the seed of the woman, the Lord Jesus Christ. Key Passage 4,13-14 13 Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house, more than all the Jews. 14 For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place, but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed, and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Job Summary Job loses his riches, 1 colon 14 19, goes through trials, 2 colon 7 25 colon 6, and receives more riches in the end than he had at the beginning, 42 colon 10, as a type of Israel losing the kingdom, going through the tribulation period, and receiving more in God's earthly, eternal kingdom. Key passage, 121 And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Psalms Summary, the Psalms are songs that depict Israel's entire history with Jesus Christ at the center, saving them through his death, and bringing them into God's eternal, earthly kingdom to reign with him. Key passage 138,2 I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Proverbs Summary The foolish woman of religion and the wise woman of God's commandments compete for Israel's affections through the tribulation period, culminating in a believing remnant of Israel choosing the wise woman. Key passage 1,7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Ecclesiastes Summary God shows Israel the vanity of worldly wisdom, 1 colon 2, so that they will learn to fear God and keep his commandments, 12 13. Key passage, 8 colon 11 12, 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. 12. Though a sinner do evil an hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely, I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Song of Solomon Summary, the song is a love story of Christ and Israel, and they will be united in marriage at Jesus' second coming. Key Passage 2.16 My beloved is mine, and I am his, he feedeth among the lilies. Isaiah Summary God's redemption of Israel from being Satan's lawful captive, 49,24-25, is seen in Jesus Christ being cut off from the land of the living for Israel's transgressions, 53,8. Key passage, 7,14 Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Jeremiah Summary, Israel, not us today, is so steeped in sin that only God can save her, which he will do by making a new covenant with her through Christ's death, 31,31-34. Key passage, 11,13-14, For according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. 14. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for the trouble. Lamentations Summary The believing remnant of Israel weeps over their captivity, but they take comfort in knowing that God remains faithful to them, even when they have played the harlot. Key Passage 3,22-23 22 It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, 
because his compassions fail not. 23. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Ezekiel. Summary. God leaves the temple and Jerusalem, 8 colon for dash 11 colon 25, because of Israel's uncleanness, but God will cleanse Israel, not us today, and make them a virgin, fit for marrying God's son under the new covenant, 36 colon 22 dash 32. Key passage, 36 colon 24 dash 28, 24, for I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. 25, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean, from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. 26, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. 27, and I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments, and do them. 28, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Daniel Summary, the believing remnant of Judah is protected by God in captivity, 3 colon 19 dash 28 and 6 colon 16 dash 22, as a type of them going through the tribulation period, while even Satan, through the Antichrist, 11 colon 36 dash 45, is powerless to stop God from making an end of sins, 9 colon 24 dash 27, and bringing in God's eternal kingdom on earth, 244. Key Passage 9 colon 24 dash 27, 24, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city, to finish the transgression, and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. 25, know therefore and understand, that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks, the street shall be built again, and the wall even in troublous times. 26. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city, and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Hosea Summary, Hosea marries a prostitute, 1 colon 1 3, and has a child that is not God's, 1 colon 9, as a picture of Israel playing the harlot with Satan, and not being God's people from the time of Paul's call in Acts 9 until the future catching away of the body of Christ. Key Passage 1 colon 9 dash 10, 9, Then said God, Call his name Lomi, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. 10, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Joel Summary, The time is here for Israel to fast and mourn with godly sorrow over their sins, 2 colon 12 dash 17, so that God may pour his spirit upon them in the last days, 2 colon 28 dash 29. Key passage, 2 colon 30 dash 32, 30, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. 31, the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. 32, and it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Amos Summary, God's wrath is poured out on all nations, including Israel and Judah chapters. 1 colon 1 dash 9 colon 10, including a 400 year famine from hearing God's word, 8 colon 11 dash 12, but God will restore Israel in the end, 9 colon 11 dash 15. Key passage, 8 colon 11 dash 12, 11, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Obadiah Summary, 
God pours his wrath upon Edom for their sins, 1 to 14, which shows Israel that God will do the same to them, 15 to 16, if they do not obey God's law covenant with them. Key passage, 21 and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Jonah. Summary, God saves wicked Nineveh, 310, which shows Israel that he wants to do the same for them, if they will just have faith in God's law covenant with them. Key passage, 310 And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil, that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Micah Summary, God will destroy the idolatry and false religion of Israel, 1 colon 2-7 and establish his kingdom in Jerusalem with all nations coming to worship God there for colon 1-5. Key passage, for colon 1-2, 1, but in the last days it shall come to pass, that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow into it. 2. And many nations shall come, and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Nahum Summary, God destroys Nineveh for their wickedness, showing Israel that they will not be spared God's judgment by trusting in past righteousness found in Israel. Key passage, 115 Behold upon the mountains the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feasts, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee, he is utterly cut off. Habakkuk Summary, the believing remnant of Israel cries for God's justice in the midst of a wicked nation, 1 colon 12-17, but they will continue to trust in God, because the just shall live by his faith, 2 colon 4. Key passage, 2 colon for behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Zephaniah Summary, God is ready to destroy all that is in Jerusalem, so that he can bring in his believing remnant and set up his eternal kingdom on earth in Jerusalem, 1 colon 14-18. Key passage, 1 colon 14-17, 14, the great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. 15, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, 16, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities, and against the high towers. 17, and I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Haggai Summary the beginning of a believing remnant of Israel coming back from captivity is seen here, 2 colon 1 5, and God will build the little flock into the Israel of God that will enter the kingdom, 2 colon 6 9. Key passage, 2 colon 9 The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts, and in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Zechariah Summary the Christ will be God's servant to build the Israel of God, 3 colon 8 dash 10, 6 colon 12 dash 13, and then he will come in power to destroy the wicked, 14, and bring the righteous into the kingdom, 10 colon 10 dash 12. Key passage, 6 colon 12 dash 13, 12, and speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord, 13 even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both. Malachi Summary, God hates Israel's religion, 1 colon 12 dash 14, and will destroy it with his messenger preparing the way, 3 colon 1, the tribulation period, 3 colon 2 dash 4, and Elijah, for colon 5 dash 6. Key Passage 3 colon 1 dash 4, 1, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. 2, But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? 
for he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap, three, and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Four, then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. Matthew Summary The Christ comes as Israel's king, 2 colon 2, binds Satan through his death, burial, and resurrection, 1229, and now has the power to bring Israel into the kingdom, 28 colon 18. Key passage, 28 colon 18, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Mark Summary, the Christ comes as Israel's servant, taking their sin payment through his death, and preparing them to enter the kingdom through physical miracles. Key passage, 1534 and 16 6, 34, and at the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Aloy, Aloy, Lama Sabachthani. Which is, being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? 6, and he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified, he is risen, he is not here, behold the place where they laid him. Luke Summary The Christ comes as Israel's man, living a sinless life and dying as her kinsman redeemer, while also performing physical miracles to demonstrate the spiritual healing, forgiveness of sins, that God wants to give them to bring them into the kingdom. Key Passage 13.6-9-6 He spake also this parable, A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. 7. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none, cut it down, why come ereth at the ground? 8. And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dung it. 9. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. John Summary The Christ comes as Israel's God, making sure Christ Jesus, the man fulfills all the requirements necessary to bring eternal life to all people who believe what God tells them. Key Passage, 20 colon 30 31, 30, and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, 31, but these are written, that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Acts Summary the at hand phase of the kingdom goes away due to Israel's unbelief, 7 55 56, and God begins reconciling the heavenly places back to himself by saving Paul, and all those who believe his gospel, Romans 16, verse 25. Key passage, 755 But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Romans Summary Romans begins the section that is written to us today, and it explains that the cross means that we can have justification 3 colon 21 dash 31, and live in Christ chapters 6 to 8, right now 5 colon 9, 11, by faith in Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Key passage, 3 colon 21 dash 25, 21, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, 22 even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference, 23, for all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God, 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, 25, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God. 1 Corinthians Summary this book is written to correct the carnal lifestyles, 3 colon 1 dash 4, of the Corinthians, because they do not have faith in the Romans' doctrine of salvation and sanctification by the cross work of Christ, 15 colon 1 dash 4. Key passage, 15 colon 16 dash 20, 16, for if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised, 17, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. 18. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. 19. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. 20. But now is Christ risen from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept. 
2 Corinthians Summary The Corinthians need to recognize that suffering for the believer is part of God's plan, for colon 7-5-8, and Satan tries to trick them into believing otherwise, for colon 1-4, by having Satan's ministers appear to represent Christ, 11 colon 13-15. Key Passage, 12 colon 9-10, 9, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 10. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then am I strong. Galatians Summary Believing that we are crucified and raised with Christ, 2 19-21, is essential to walking in the Spirit, 516, so as to get rid of legalism, 612, and stand fast in the liberty we have in Christ, 5 1-2. Key Passage 2 colon 19 dash 21 19 for i through the law am dead to the law that i might live unto god 20 i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live yet not i but christ liveth in me and the life which i now live in the flesh i live by the faith of the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me 21 i do not frustrate the grace of god for if righteousness come by the law then christ is dead in vain ephesians Summary, Christ will fill the heavenly places with the body of Christ, 1 colon 18-23, and they should live as if they are already there, 5 colon 1-10, because as far as God is concerned, they are there right now, 2 colon 5-6. Key passage, 2 colon 5-6, 5, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved winky face. 6 and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Philippians Summary, being in heavenly places in Christ, 3 colon 20 dash 21, the Philippians should count the things of this world as dung, 3 colon 8, and seek to know Christ in his sufferings, 3 10, for the edification of the body of Christ, 1 24, and for the soul salvation of unbelievers, for 22. Key Passage, 1 colon 21 dash 22, 21. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. 22. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor, yet what I shall choose I wot not. Colossians. Summary. The Colossians should set their affections on things above 3 colon 2, so that they set aside man's religion 2 colon 16 dash 23, and works of the flesh 3 colon 5 dash 9, and hold to the sound doctrine of heavenly places found in Ephesians. Key passage, 3 colon 2 dash 3, 2, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. 3 for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. 1 Thessalonians Summary, this epistle gives the body of Christ the sound doctrine of the hope we have in heaven, for colon 13 dash 18, along with exhortations to continue to live out Romans and Ephesians doctrine, 5 colon 16 dash 22. Key passage for colon 16-18, 16, 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so, shall we ever be with the Lord. 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words. 2 Thessalonians Summary this is another epistle to get their focus on the hope they have in heaven, 2 colon 1-2, and it also covers how to deal with busybodies and those in their midst not following sound doctrine, 3 colon 6-15. Key passage, 2 colon 7-8, 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. 8 And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. 1 Timothy Summary, this epistle deals with keeping false doctrine out of the church, 1 and 6 colon 3-10, gives qualifications for church leaders, 3, and deals with church order, 2 colon 8-15 and 5. Key passage, 2 colon 4-6, 4, who will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 5. For there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, 
the men Christ Jesus, six, who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in due time. 2 Timothy Summary This epistle gives encouragement to church bishops to stay true to sound doctrine and keep false doctrine out of the church at all costs, 1 to 2, even though many will go astray, 1 15, 3, and for colon 10 16, as we get closer to being caught up to meet Christ in the air to forever be with the Lord, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17. Key passage, 2 colon 15 16, 15, study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 16. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Titus Summary This church epistle covers the expected spiritual maturity level of each person in the church, too, while exhorting Titus to keep false doctrine out of the church, 1 colon 10-16. Key passage, 2 colon 12-14. 12. Teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. 13. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. 14. Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Philemon Summary One's imus serves as an example of how sound doctrine can change someone from being a no-good unbeliever to being a believer, profitable to building, and holy temple in the Lord, Ephesians 2 verse 21. Key passage, 6 to 7, 6, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. 7, for we have great joy and consolation in thy love, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee, brother. Hebrews Summary, Hebrews begins the last section of the Bible, which covers Israel in the tribulation period. It shows the Hebrews, not us today, that they have a second chance to be in God's earthly kingdom thanks to the cross work of Christ, but Israel must have faith in God in order to enter the kingdom. Key passage, 9.15, And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. James Summary, James encourages the little flock of Israel to endure unto the end of the tribulation period, Matthew 24 verse 13, with faith plus works in line with that faith, 2 colon 17-26. Key passage, 2.24 Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. 1 Peter Summary, Israel is encouraged to endure the tribulation period, so that they may fulfill their calling of being God's priests, to the Gentiles in God's eternal kingdom on earth, 2 colon 5-10. Key passage, 2 to 9-10, 9, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, 10, which in time past were not a people but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. 2 Peter Summary, the little flock of Israel needs to beware of false prophets and teachers, who will try to come in and devour the flock, too, and keep their trust in the second coming of Christ to save them, 3 colon 9-14. Key passage, 3 colon 9 The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 1 John Summary this epistle concentrates on the love of God that will be shown by the little flock to the lost sheep of Israel, when the little flock obeys God's commandments. Key passage, 5 colon 7 9, 7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. 8 And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. 9 If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he hath testified of his Son. 2 John Summary, this epistle gives encouragement to believing Israel in the Millennial Kingdom to reach all Gentiles with the Mosaic Law, and it gives instruction to Gentiles to believe what Israel teaches them during this time. Key passage, 10-11, 10, 10, If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed 
11. For he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. 3. John Summary This epistle is a warning to Gentile believers in the millennial reign not to listen to false doctrine so that they are not deceived. Key passage For I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Jude Summary This epistle warns the little flock of the great opposition within the little flock during the tribulation period but the Lord Jesus Christ is able to bring them into God's kingdom, in spite of this opposition, 24-25. Key passage, 14-15, 14, 14, And Enoch also, the seven from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, 15, to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Revelation Summary, Revelation gives details of end-time events that will refine Israel so that they are saved and live forever in God's eternal kingdom on earth. Key Passage, 21,3-4-3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. For and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away.